What's up, everybody? Just wanted to talk about this beat a little bit that I've been working on. Um, it's more, it just kind of suspends a little bit under the water. Um, it's not really awake. Um, it's a little bit of a of a crank. Um, earlier today, when I caught that fish, if you saw my earlier post. Um, I didn't have a tail on this on this bait, um, and it just wasn't that stable in the water. It had to be real light with the rod rod jerks and the and the uh, reel bumps. So I thought maybe putting a tail on the bait would alleviate that, um, and it actually did. Um, it'd be a little bit more aggressive um, with the reel bumps and the rod switches. The only thing it lost a little bit of that the wide and wide action in the in the cranking. But really what I was going for is that glide to glide, short cutting, uh, suspending action. Um, this bait. Um, let's see what the tail It's about seven, seven, seven and a half inches from the tip of the tail to the line tie there, um, and then without it, it's about six and a half. Um, so, and it weighs. I've got the scale right here. It weighs three point seven ounces, so almost four ounces. And you know, it's pretty. It's not huge of a bait, and it's not too small. It's not really too small, um, <clears throat> but I think I got this one is is dialed in pretty good. It's got a pretty wide range of motion there, but this bait is going to be really good in in close, heavy cover, weed pockets, weed lines, um, lay downs. And I'm hoping that, because I have the, the line tie or the uh, hook hanger here, and I'm hoping that I, if this can deflect pretty good off, off of cover, if need be. I'm not sure, though. The hook came down uh, pretty low. But caught a fish on it. Wasn't expecting that. Um, and that goes to show that sometimes you don't need a fancy bait all painted up and sometimes you just get lucky so I think it was a little bit of both uh, but I'm, real, I'm excited about the tail because I think that that really stabilized um, the bait so I'm working on a couple of other ones I got um, these two that I'm working on uh, this one's going to be going to be uh, similar similar to this bait but in, in what I'm going to try to get um, action wise what I'm going to do is on this bait I'm going to put a um, I'm going to put a round I'm going to put a round bill on it and I'm hoping that that gives it a little bit of more of a uh, maybe a little bit more rolling rolling action on those rod twitches and those that subsurface walk just a, a little bit different of, of an action on it um, and these ones this one's right on uh, six inches so they're going to be a, maybe a half inch half inch smaller than this one almost a little bit narrower um, body um, but I think having this tail section back here, um, it's really going to have uh, a darting, a good darting action near, near cover. Um, I also had this one, um, which is the same thing as this. Result, it's a little bit different. And that's just because of the, the weighting. Um, and it's not always going to be uh, perfect on wood baits, especially um, 
you know, I'm still learning. I'm still trying to figure this stuff out. So, this beat, I need to take some more lead out because it just, it sinks, it sinks a little too fast for what I want. But, on a straight retrieve, this thing wobbles really aggressively. So, if I can get it to, um, suspend a little bit better and not sink so fast. I think that this bait is going to be great too. I'll, I have no tail on it. I'm going to put a tail on, on, on this one too. Um, and that will probably, probably also help stabilize the bait out. But these two, I'll probably be able to te um, test in the next couple of days. Um, my pond, the pond is almost um, fully thawed out, so that's good. Um, it's getting a little bit warmer here in New York, um, but who knows, it's March, so we can still get a snowstorm, but hopefully not, but I um, just wanted to follow up on some of the bits that I'm making, and just happy that the first bait, or the first fish of 2022 was caught on a homemade bait. That I made, so it gets me excited, and I think this year is going to be going to be really good. So stay tuned. You guys know I'll keep everyone updated on what I'm doing. All right, peace out.